Well, this is not the same face in some ways that you just saw in the clip. The hairstyle, Michael Douglas, was not your idea, I understand, but that of Joel Schumacher, is that correct? That's correct, Joel and the hairdresser. Um, we kind of worked out the clothes, which are kind of a little repressed and tight. We got the glasses, we got the briefcase, and we got to the first day of shooting. And we knew the hair was going to go down, and I had sort of, a, you know, some idea, but I wasn't quite sure. And then the hairdresser said, you know, I have an idea. No, I shouldn't say it. I said, no, 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 please. <laughs> I said, hey, let's go for it. And it's amazing sometimes how they say the haircut can make the man. And, and, you know, the haircut came, and then all of a sudden the whole kind of character came together. No kidding. Mm -hmm. I had a sense of somebody with this military background, maybe been in the service at one time, somebody who worked in the defense industry. We had this word, strack in the army. When you were strack, every hair was in place. Right. The tie right. nodded. And I also had a sense for the guy that it gave me a feeling of like the late 50s and the early 60s. And somehow, it's my character, you kind of had the feeling that he came from another time, or he wished or he hoped for another time when mm -hmm. things made sense, uh, when somebody's job was worthwhile, you had a purpose in life. And I think he kind of reverted or dreamt about the, about the old days. And you say, you're going home. That means so many things. Maybe in your own words, yeah. some of the layered meanings of going home here. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, defense, the name of the character uh, that is referred to um, in, the, in the picture, uh, was trying to get back to a life or a world that he'd had before his has begun to come apart with Barbara Hershey, the actress, the wonderful actress who plays my wife and, and my daughter. And uh, the picture, I mean, symbolically, I guess, really is a passage across Los Angeles, a passage through our contemporary urban landscape, trying to get back and regain that sense of purpose, of love, of bondage, of family that existed in some other life or some other world. You know, and what's happened for a lot of people now is that uh, we're angry, and we don't know who to be angry at. There it is. You know? And while I'm watching, I'm thinking, this, this plot, it's so elemental and so basic, and then I went back to thinking, well, you know, Ulysses, after the Trojan Wars, he went home to his wife after a lot of stress in his life. And then I remembered your father made a film, Ulysses. Yeah. And here we have two different generations, one a heroic film about a Greek myth, and the other a modern contemporary drama where Kirk Douglas's son, now right. on his own, right has his own odyssey. A curious symmetry. Did that ever enter your head? No, I, I didn't, John, <laughs> but I, I, I think it's a good, I like it, though. Is it a modern-day odyssey, in a way? Oh, I think so. I, 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 look, I think uh, Falling Down was the best screenplay I've read in a really long time. Uh, the part is the best part I've had since, um, since Wall Street. Uh, I think it's hitting um, a chord uh, for uh, a lot of people. Um, it's been thought-provoking, yet, you know, entertaining. Mm -hmm. We get a few dark laughs, the kind of dark sick comedy that I like. I'm wondering if also coming out of this might be our ability to better understand those people who remain anonymous names in the news. They go berserk and we say, oh, how awful, what could have caused this? After two hours with this movie, maybe we can understand this sort of thing a little more. Is that fair? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, it is the biggest uh, rising crime in the country right now, which is a, a lot of people, through domestic reasons and otherwise, who uh, are mad as hell and can't take it any longer. You know, mm -hmm. and this reminds me a lot of the picture network yeah. you know, or taxi driver, mm -hmm. some of that kind of quality um, and, and humor, because I, I do think that Ebby did a great job of sort of pointing out some of the absurdities and the ironies. Is that going to surprise some viewers, do you think, how funny this I is? Think they're gonna, I think they're going to be surprised. I know they're almost embarrassed themselves and they laugh. Uh, this is not a politically correct movie, uh, yet it, does, it is truthful. And I think a lot of people are, uh, are surprised. They say, oh my God, am I laughing at this? This is funny. This is really funny. But and Michael, in a movie full of strong images, finally, the strongest for me is the fact that here you are, ostensibly a businessman, on his way to work, but in your briefcase is nothing but an apple and a sandwich. Yeah. That's how many people on the freeways, I wonder, have nothing but an apple and a sandwich. They're yeah. not going to a job. They're not. No. No. He's just looking. No, we are. There's um, 
you know, we there's a lot of people who are a paycheck away from being on the streets and, and or um, out of work who did everything right. I mean, they've been responsible, they've tried hard, and they don't know what went wrong. We won the war. Uh, where, where is it all at? And I, I think this sort of lack of direction now has been, been frustrating, and I think with falling down, people are getting a chance to sort of I identify mm -hmm. uh, with that kind of character and, and, you know, and yet see a good movie. I think it's a, a brave role for you to take on. Congratulations. Oh, thanks, John. Appreciate Michael it. Douglas, he's in Falling Down. And we're in New York City. I'm John Tibbetts for KCTV5.